Welcome to another five minutes of movement. Motion is lotion. Moving is good for us. To move is to be alive. Five minutes of motion every day. That's all it takes to create consistent patterns and consistent change. If we are going to impact our health, the number one thing we can do is simply move our bodies. Our bodies were made to move. Today we're doing five minutes of stretching. Full body stretching from your head to your toes. We're gonna start in a seated position. We have five different stretches and we are gonna do one minute of each stretch. So we are gonna start our five minutes of movement now and we're gonna start by doing an upper trap stretch through the neck, right ear to right shoulder. Good. You can sit on that hand to prevent this shoulder from shrugging up and to keep in that stretch. Good. We're gonna switch sides. So left ear to the left shoulder. Beautiful. Breathe out, deepen the stretch. Good. Good. Now we're gonna move into being on all fours. We are going to slide that right arm through and rotate palm, right palm is up. We're stretching the back of the arm and the upper torso. Good. 10 seconds here. Now we're gonna go opposite. Really stretch that arm as far, slide it as far as you can. And rotate. Good. Now, we're going to go into a child's pose. Put those toes together, knees wide, elongate into that lower back. Good. And breathe into it. Good. We're gonna do 15 seconds with our arms to the left. And then walk your arms to the right. For the last 15 seconds here. Good. After this, we're going to go into our hip flexor stretch. Oh, this whole left side body. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, now we're going to come up. Bring that left leg up 90 degrees back leg 90 degrees. We're going to tuck that pelvis up and under. Bring that right arm up. Tilt back till we feel that stretch into the front of this right hip. Good. Good. And we're going to switch sides 90 degrees. Pelvic tilt back, arm up, feel it into that left side. Whew. Good. You should notice there may be one hip that is tighter than the other. Good. We are going to finish in a deep squat. So if you cannot hold a deep squat position, then I suggest grabbing a weight as a counterbalance and hold this deep squat position. We're going to hold this 
for the last minute here, 40 more seconds left. This is really good for stretching in through the ankles, working on making sure that ankle mobility is there. If you have tension into your ankles, you'll find it hard to keep your heels on the ground. So work at whatever position you are comfortable. It can take time to work on this full deep squat position. Again, the counterbalance is helpful if you can't hold it without the weight. We've got 10 more seconds here. You can also hold on to something, a beam or a pillar if you have one in your house. This can work and you can, only, you can slowly work yourself down until you hold that deep squat and you may have to be a little higher at first. Just like that, five minutes is up. We stretch the neck, we stretch the arms, we stretch the mid back, we stretch the lower back, we stretch the hips, we stretch the ankles. We did it all in five minutes, just like that. So consistency, changing your patterns. Often our excuses are there's not enough time. Well, who doesn't have enough time? Who doesn't have five minutes, right? We have five minutes to look on our phones. We have five minutes to surf the web, social media, whatever. If we use that five minutes more productively, it can have drastic improvements on our health. So thank you guys for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time for your next five minutes of movement. Shine on, my friends.